marked up. I've got one right on now, so I can now get that on the corner. But I can do the upright oh, legs out. That one's going to go down. So I've got that, that side on where I want it. And then that side there, look. So it's on the line there. And I've got that one there. And then that one there. Take that line out, it's just a little bit long. I've tried all the grip fills and we don't have mastic. Some of the. Uh, just the filler? Well, no, just to stick it there to hold it. Um, some of the grip fills are like the solvent free ones, but the trouble with them, once they dry out, the glue goes a bit crazed. I know, yeah. It's and, it, it? and it's not very good. Go from the top, then you can't see it. I've got to stop bad, I won't bother adding that one. Do the head first, then obviously you can even it out a little bit. You know, so if it's like, you know, a fraction long, if you've got oh, chance to even it out, but I've another writer to work with, you'd always put a leg up first, and I think, well, if your head's a bit long, at least you can just even it out. Just eye it and once it's painted, you'll never notice so it. So what I do then is I just turn it upside down. Turn it upside down. Up the mitre. And then you turn it up, and then, but then you've got to mark it to the top there, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then just yeah. take a smidgen off because it doesn't matter if it's it, on the floor. If it's a little gap there, Carpet it doesn't matter with um, carpets, yeah. no. Yeah. But there's loads of ways of doing it. Yeah, it's just, but with the gauge, if you're doing a lot of it. Yeah, I like the gauge. I mean, little gauge. Because, I mean, you can use, I've seen plenty of guys, they just... Use a square, but then it doesn't go right past it, which I know you can go along the top. Yeah. Just, I just find that, and, and it marks out the doors though, so yeah. before you hang a door, you can mark all the architraves up, all the doors ready to, ready to go, really. But there's a few different ways of doing the skirtings, but how I always used to do it, before I got any doors on, I'd get all the big long lengths cut round, and in company, I don't need no power whatsoever, just be compasses. If it's the full length in there, then we want to reduce it by that length. So you just, thickness. a thickness, so just hope these, these um, compasses. These ones are really good, they've got long points, so there's no detail on this, there's a little V in there, but when you've got the old torus, you can follow that round. So now, it just go straight up there, up there, and then just that little 45 down there, and there's a little bit that gets left up in there, it's not much. Not sitting dead flat, but I can just cop the angle of it there. Normally I come straight in here and like I put that bit on before the door's hung so I've not got to keep moving doors or I try not like working behind doors if I can help it. So I've got that bit fired up and then I just find it easier to get the skirting all round. Then when you do sweep up, you can sweep up straight in the corners and hopefully someone will come along and tidy it up for you. Because <laughs> I mean, I've done a job with a guy years ago and it was a big skirting and then the bloke was picking this up for the, for the chop saw to mitre it, which is a good way of doing it. And I see, I mean, James always works in a clockwise yeah. motion. I'll just work whichever way. I'll look at it and think, if there's red tails and you can squeeze the skirting behind it. Only, obviously, when you're doing the mitres, you've got to get it out. I mean, you get a big nine inch skirting or so, mm. and it's not sitting dead flat. You can describe it in. So I'm just going to scribe this one in, but I'll wait until the architrave's fixed. If you haven't got the compasses, if you just draw up it, you've got your angle as well then, haven't you? 
Uh, it's funny how the fashions have changed. When I started, we had all really fancy mouldings. Years ago, I used to have a little bench, uh, a shelf in here on my bench, so I would get my stuff on it, and you can quickly one room do another room. Just walk from room to room. Yeah, and then sweep up, push it in the corner. You ain't got to touch it again, have you? Yeah. Also, when you start hanging your doors, or you got something to work to. On these rads, it's a newer system, modern way of doing it. These pipes go up to the middle of the radiator, and then they're buried behind the wall. But a lot of times, they'll go straight back there in the wall. So if you're unsure about any pipe work behind the radiators, avoid all this area for fixings. And with modern glues and adhesives, I'm using silicon. Silicon through there is fine. <laughs> 